Let's go straight to the phone lines, and we'd like to welcome in special guest Mike New, Ball State's head football coach, who brings his club into Knoxville on Thursday. Mike, we really appreciate you joining the show and uh, looking forward to seeing your team here in Knoxville on Thursday. I appreciate you having me. Obviously, uh, we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a great opportunity to uh, play at such a great venue, and obviously uh, Coach Heupel and what he's done there at Tennessee is uh, certainly a very good football team. Hey, Mike, you know, your seventh year there, and you guys the last couple years have really – gained a lot of momentum as a program uh, two straight bowl appearances looking for your third or third straight which will be the first time in school history what do you attribute to the way you guys have been able to really turn it on these last two years and build that kind of momentum i think more than anything certainly it starts with recruiting and just identifying the right young men to fit our program uh, we preach family a lot we try to make sure that we instill discipline uh, in our guys and you know obviously uh, the last several years, we've had a lot of guys that, uh, you know, have really invested a lot of time and energy to just, you know, do things the right way. You know, how do you carry yourself in the classroom, make sure we, uh, you know, do as well as we can in the classroom, and that carries over to the football field. And uh, just trying to really emphasize the details in order to give ourselves the best chance to win uh, on game day. We're visiting with Ball State head coach Mike New, whose team, won 13 games last year, uh, which is more than any other team in the MAC. Mike, I think you got some Tennessee connections. I, 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 I find it fascinating your Arena Football League background, and you coached, <laughs> you coached and played. And I had a chance back when I lived in Charlotte to go watch a, a lot of Arena Football League games. But uh, it's it's almost like a I, I tell people it's like football on ice. It's like a miniature version of football and hockey. What do you remember about coaching? Did did you play or coach? Uh, Andy Kelly, the former Tennessee quarterback? Yeah, so my time in the Arena League was awesome. And obviously you mentioned Andy Kelly. My first uh, – I, I was teammates for one year with Andy in Nashville with the Cats. So during the 1997 season, Andy was a starting quarterback. I was a backup. And then in 1998, uh, I became the quarterback coach and, uh, you know, a play caller. And so I went from being teammates with Andy to the next year – uh, being the quarterback coach and calling plays. But uh, obviously, you know, not only Andy Kelly, but Corey Fleming was also part of that team. So, um, you know, I still, from time to time, uh, keep in touch with Andy. But uh, very fond memories of playing in the Arena League, living in Nashville, Tennessee. The last time I went uh, to a Tennessee game, the only time I've been to Tennessee game at, at Neyland Stadium was Peyton Manning senior year, and I went to a game with Andy. Hey, Coach, it's Austin. When you look at, at your team, having went through fall camp, um, where, where do you feel like you are with this group maybe compared to where you were with last year's group at this time? And, and what do you feel like you can hang your hat on going into Thursday night? You know, I think for us, we just pride ourselves on having a great attitude and playing with great effort. We had a little bit of turnover from our football team last year, but we set out night number one in training camp making sure that uh, we were going to play hard, we are going to play with relentless effort, uh, you know, I'm excited about uh, we had some offensive linemen that were injured a year ago. I think uh, returning those guys to the lineup, uh, we've got five guys that have played a lot of football around here. And I think on the defensive side of the ball, our defensive line for us is, is as deep as it's been uh, since I've been here. So really those two spots, uh, you know, obviously we're, we're going up against an SEC opponent uh, that's playing high-level football right now. So uh, it all starts in the trenches. And, and uh, for us, we got to make sure that uh, – you know, we give ourselves the best chance by playing with tremendous effort and, and uh, obviously being able to match up with Tennessee's speed that they play with offensively is certainly going to be a great challenge. Tennessee uh, lost some, some key parts to last year's team on both sides of the ball, but specifically offensively with the loss of Bayless Jones and um, you know, Javante Payton. What are you expecting out of, of that other core group of receivers that's not named Cedric Tillman Thursday night or because of, you know, just – the unknown you, you don't know what to expect yeah. there's no question but obviously with some of the guys that they do return having eight starters uh, returning uh, from last year's team offensively uh, yeah there's going to be some new guys step in at, at those receiver positions but obviously uh, they've done a great job in recruiting got a lot of momentum right now so uh, there'll be a next guy ready to go and and uh, we'll just have to see who that's going to be uh, on Thursday night we're visiting with Mike New, Ball State's head football coach. Again, brings his Cardinals into Knoxville on Thursday. 
7 p.m. game. SEC Network has the coverage. Uh, Mike, you talked about your depth in the defensive line. When a team plays as fast and wants to run as many plays as, a te- as Tennessee likes to, to run, I-, I would imagine having that depth and playing as many guys as you can possibly play on defense is a key in a game like this, isn't it? Well, no question. Obviously, they, Tennessee does a great job of, of trying to keep you on the field, you know, not switching out uh, personnel a bunch so that you have a chance to substitute. So we know that. You know, we've been practicing, uh, you know, versus tempo for a long time, starting back in spring practice here in training camp, you know, every day. So uh, we know that's part of it, conditioning and, uh, you know, being able to, to play in the third and fourth quarter when you're tired is going to be a big part of it. But there's no doubt that we want to try to, uh, play and rotate as many guys as we can uh, to stay fresh because uh, you know they make it. It's, it's certainly a challenge uh, with the number. You know, certainly you know basically running three plays a minute. Uh, certainly a challenge. As a former quarterback, tell us about your quarterback and what you guys want to do on offense and sort of what you've seen to this point as you guys get ready to open the season this Thursday. Yeah, we'll have a new starting quarterback for us. Our starter from a year ago was. You know, a three-year starter for us, uh, you know, led us to a championship, back-to-back bowl games, had a great career, and Drew Plitt. But John Paddock uh, is our starting quarterback. He's been with us now uh, for several years, so he's worked hard behind the scenes to study the offense. And uh, very, we're all very, very confident in John. He's a tremendous leader. Um, you know, certainly uh, excited about this opportunity for him. He's worked tirelessly over the last several years to uh, ready himself for this opportunity and, and uh, feel good about John just going out there and, running the offense and, and uh, having some fun. When, when you look at Tennessee's defense, obviously they like to try to get to the quarterback as much as they can. Uh, at one point led the, the nation last year in tackles for loss up deep into November. Um, so they like to kind of create havoc and consternation. Byron Young's that that kind of guy that kind of leads the way for Tennessee. What are your thoughts on him having seen him on film? Yeah, he's a special player. Certainly, as soon as you turn the defensive tape on, you recognize the speed, you recognize the athleticism. That's not something that we play uh, week in, week out. You know, obviously we played Penn State a year ago, but uh, this defense is as talented uh, as we played, so it's going to be a great challenge. Uh, but our guys know, too, it's you know got to be a one-play-at-a-time mentality. We've got to try to make sure, uh, you know, that we – uh, slow him down as much as we possibly can, but you know certainly uh, all the way across the defensive line, the linebacking unit, uh, those guys uh, certainly uh, play fast, and and uh, it's a physical group of guys. So it's going to be a great challenge for us. Mike, as an offensive guy, w- when you have a second year, and this is Josh Heupel's second year, calls the plays. I mean, from your experience, a second year in a system with a team, uh, you got a returning quarterback like a Hendon Hooker. How much more are you able to do in that second year? I mean, how much more freedom, how much more flexibility uh, as a play caller uh, do you have? Well, you know, I'm sure this time a year ago, obviously things were just getting started and, you know, trying to establish an identity and what we were going to be about uh, as a football team and in particular an offensive football team. But you could just see the confidence grow uh, as you watch the game tapes from all of last year. And so going into the off season. Uh, being to build, being able to build on those strengths, having an identity established, uh, having a lot of momentum in recruiting. So uh, certainly, uh, they've done a great job. Coach uh, Eichel and his staff have, and um, you know, I'm sure they're only going to continue to get stronger from this point forward. Well, Mike, we really appreciate your time, man, and I, I'm sure you tell people that you're the uh, the third most popular alum from Ball State, behind what David Letterman and Jason <laughs> Whitlock. Is that right? Are you there right? You are you go. right there, there third? You go. That's exactly right. <laughs> and I'm probably sh- not even third. So. <laughs> be sure and tell Andy when you see him again that uh, remind him that all those yards he put up when he was throwing, he was throwing to guys like Carl Pickens and Alvin Harper. Be sure and remind him of that I, when you I, see him again. I used to, uh, I used to remind him of that all the time. So it's, uh, it's gonna. Hopefully, I get a chance to see him. But uh, those are some great days. Yeah. Well, man, it's been great catching up, and, and, and good luck to you guys. And we look forward to seeing you here on Thursday in Knoxville, and uh, we, we thanks for you visiting with us tonight on The Nation, Coach. All right. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. Okay. That's Mike New, Ball State's head football coach, visiting with us tonight on The Nation, talking about his team, talking about Tennessee.